Hey, good day. This is Dr. John Dombrowski from the Washington Pain Center. Oh, we're here with another patient actually here at the Glen Echo Surgery Center in Bethesda, Maryland. And we're doing another implant with the smallest battery that they make so far. And it's again by Abbott and it's done the Interna, E-T-E-R-N-A. If so, if you want to look that up on the internet, here it is. But I want to talk to you more specifically about your pain. We normally see a lot of people who are markedly older or have had back surgery and all that. Your situation was a little bit different that you had a thing called, I think, complex regional pain syndrome, CRPS. Is that right? How did you get the CRPS? How did that all start for you? For me, just started one day, uh, started as low-level pain, developed over the course of about six months until it became pretty debilitating. Okay. And how long ago was this? This was almost a decade. Uh, ten years. Wow. So over these ten years, I mean, just to bring everyone up to date, what have you done for this? Uh, we've tried surgery, we've tried medication, we've tried uh, behavioral changes, none of it's really been very effective. Okay, and I know you actually have an implant of a device, and it was called a DRG, or dorsal root ganglion, and that was done up in Pittsburgh, if I'm not mistaken. That's correct. How did you find that, and how did you find this in comparison? Yeah, so it, it was originally recommended to me by my pain management physician, okay. um, and it did make some level of difference in my pain. It took me from uh, basically non-functioning to a level of functioning. Yeah. It hasn't really changed my ability to move around. During this trial, I noticed a marked change in my ability to move around, being able to walk long distances that I hadn't for the previous decade. Okay, and, and, and not, not, not to look for a compliment, but yeah. I'll take one. Yeah. Would you say that the trial was a little bit easier than the DRG? Substantially so. Now, how so? I mean, you said that very quickly. Yeah, uh, in the level of pain I experienced, the speed at which I was able to start moving again, um, the duration of the procedure itself, specific, specifically in how long it took to actually place the leads. Okay, uh, and th thank you for that. Yeah. So, if someone is watching this video and they have complex renal pain syndrome and they've been told about stimulation, what would you tell them? I would tell them that there are surgical options in addition to the other ones being recommended. Without knowing their specific case, I can't sure. recommend anything. But, and uh, you're speaking but like a physician, yeah. so I yes. do appreciate yeah. that. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> but but please, please look into the option because um, I think it's going to make a difference for me and Excellent. for you as well. Excellent. Well, thanks for your time and yeah. thanks for watching the video. For more information, you can certainly go to the website and that is dcpaindoc.com or the Washington Pain Center. Thanks for watching.